Hi, my name is Chris Bullock. I'm the owner of the Wandering Bull Trading Post. We've been in business for 50 years. This year, 2019, is our 50th anniversary. My dad started the business when we were kids, 1969, running around at all the powwows in New England. We're going to talk about leggings. I'm going to show you them, talk briefly about them, the tribal distinctions, constructions. The leggings that I'm showing you today are a fancy dress wear for formal occasions, be powwow. Um, if you're going to um, a meeting and it's an important meeting and you want to be dressed formal and look nice, you're gonna, these are those clothes. They're not every day. You're not going to wear them every day um, around the house, around the camp. Not practical. This is fancy dress, fancy attire. I want to first start with floral leggings. These are probably circa 1940s, 1950s. Floral pattern done with an applique stitch and have this nice little tab. And the Chippewa people would do this floral work on the black velvet. And there are a pair. About 1920s, 1930s, they started wearing leggings and pants together, turning leggings into pants. And here's a prime example. This pair of leggings has a pair of pants. You pull them up, put the belt on, and voila. Once again, in that black velvet style, applique stitch. And the back is fairly plain. Very typical with the cuff around the bottom and that strip going up the front side. These are probably 40 years old. I made them when I was like 15 years old. Here's a pair of Seneca style leggings. Once again, these are 50 to 60 years old. Had lots of use, well worn, applique stitch, silk ribbon, the old um, felt binding shown a little tattered. And this seam would be worn up the front. You would see that, it would, your foot would pop out here. This is the back side. Men's leggings. And once again, be formal use, be formal wear. Here's a pair of earlier style legging. These are brain tanned, walnut dyed um, leggings, men's leggings, Eastern Woodland style, paint down the side. And they were very the short leggings. So right above the knee, you can see my knee pops out about here. So they come about mid thigh. So the same style of legging, once again, nice and short. Those Eastern Woodlands people have a very small cuff. Um, not a big, long flap like the Plains tribes ended up in the 1880s, 1890s. And silk ribbon with some 80 pony beads. So there's a pair of those. And the same example, just done in blue, blue wool with a red binding. Um, some Brass cones with deer hair right around the edge. Once again, very short, about mid-thigh. I have two examples in front of me, both Northern Plains tribes. Um, one pair is deer skin, and the other pair is made of wool leather with beaded strips. This is a deer skin leggings, and they are white deer skin. Very typical with the beaded strip down the side. And this one's fancy, has the circles with the feathers. And the whole perimeter is beaded with the two rows of cobalt blue beads. And there's the back. And typical of that later period from 1900s on, they started coming up very high, um, right up to the belt loop. Your belt loop would go right through here. So same time period. Um, this has the, the strout cloth with the five color rainbow there. Beaded strip up. Very little tailoring on these. These are constructed with these ties hold the leggings together that go from the front to the back. 
little silk ribbon, and a tie for the belt. Plain on the back side. So, Northern Plains leggings, circa 1880s to present day, with this style, with this look. The, as time went on, these strips got bigger and elaborate, um, real fancy. The earlier ones, 1880s, 1890s, the strip was very narrow. Here on the table in front of me, I have two examples of Southern Plains leggings. Um, pair on my left here, Brain Tan Deerskin. They have a tab, and at the bottom of the tab are that peyote stitch, little decorations. Inside of the tab are painted green. And the fringe, um, this particular fringe is yellow string. The string has been dyed yellow. Traditionally, they would use twisted leather fringe. Over time, they adapted to the, the string. Um, gives you that same look. Nice and tight fitting, and that tab would hang down the, the front and be open like that. You wear let garters around the ankle, around the knee. This pair is like circa 1950s with the rhinestones down the side and very intricate ribbon work, silk ribbon, hand appliqued. All cut pieces, nicely done. Little white trim around the bottom. Once again, just a small flap. And the back side of this pair has that candy stripe down the side. The last group of leggings I have here on the table in front of me are crow. And those people, once again, using blue wool for the base, and not very tailored because they are attached with the leather that goes through front to back. So they weren't sewn up, they were basically laced. The bottom has the red beaded panel done in lazy stitch with that, that style of beadwork on the red panel and then the red panel was applied to the blue wool and then that edge beading will cross the top to hide that seam. So it's a two piece basically. Um, typical of those crow, the flathead people up in that area. And here's another example of the same style. This pair has beaded, beaded strip down the sides, and that salvage edge has been cut. And those people enjoy that salvage edge. They like the look of it, and they, they just fringe their flap. These, these were made by a gentleman in Canada who is very knowledgeable in that area. And once again, the beaded panel was beaded and then applied to the legging. And this has a piece of uh, green silk ribbon around the bottom. Laced up the side, some brain tan loops for a belt tie. This particular pair has a beaded strip that runs up the side and once again, this is done in an applique or a crow stitch. And the crow stitch is a two needle applique stitch and beaded on a separate piece and then applied to the legging after the fact. So both panels could be removed, transferred to a different pair of leggings if you grew out of them or if the leggings became tattered. Thanks for watching the video. I hope the leggings were helpful as far as viewing them, construction, um, bead technique, Chris Bullock Wondering Bull. Jump on our website, go to our Facebook page. Thanks a lot.